Gumbinger. He's responsible for a documentary called The Mystery of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, is the eve of the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Tomorrow, the anniversary, November 10th, when the gales of November came early. Welcome, Mr. Gumbinger, to our talk show. It's a pleasure to have you on with us. Is this Jordan or Joe? This has interested me for many a year. Please that at last we can discuss this. <laughs> How you doing, Joe? T.D. Mishki, sir. Mr. Gumbinger? Yes. T.D. Mishki here. Oh, okay. Hey, P.D. T.D.? T.D. Okay. There have been many shipwrecks in history. What makes the Fitzgerald so special? Oh. It's something I've thought about for many a year. It's a question with which you can wrestle. I'll have what you're having now. Let's see. Uh, well, I think uh, the fact that it happened in our lifetime. Uh, there's no doubt uh, that most of your listeners were probably alive when the ship sank. Could something like this ever happen again? Is there any way we can avoid it? Should they be worried today up there near Whitefish Bay? Or am I just getting all paranoid? Uh, there's always a possibility of a maritime disaster, and you hope that it doesn't happen, but... Uh, it seems to happen every uh, every decade or so. It said in the song, and I don't have this wrong, that the gales of November came early. But if the date of the sinking was November 10th, then it sounds like the gales came right on time. Yes, more or less they did. Ironically, this is the last uh, journey of the of the year for the Fitzgerald, and double ironically, it was going to be the captain who was in his early 60s. He sailed Lake Superior for over 40 years. And uh, uh, this was not only going to be the last journey of the season, but also going to be his, of his career. It's also mentioned in Lightfoot's tomb that there was some kind of hurricane west wind. But how in the hell could a hurricane gale find itself all the way up by Michigan? It was literally a freshwater hurricane. And uh, this weather system started out in Oklahoma, Panhandle, and, and worked its way up uh, directly, centered itself right over Lake, uh, Lake Superior. How do we know that the cook down below ever said, fellas, it's too rough to feed ya? <laughs> and since everyone died, I assume Lightfoot lied when he overheard, fellas, it's been good to know ya. That's a little conjecture on old Gordy's part. Uh, <laughs> I've laughed about that one myself. So who was this Edmund Fitzgerald anyway, and what in the hell was his story and how does he differ in way shape or form from your average tom dick or harry well he was a very wealthy man he was the chairman of the board of northwestern mutual life insurance company owned by uh uh owner one in milwaukee wisconsin so technically the fitzgerald's home port was milwaukee wisconsin mr gumbanger it's been good to know ya well thanks a lot